okay in this video we are going to look at, at another characterization of a two chromatic graph so the statement reads as follows a non empty graph g is bicolorable or two chroma two chromatic if and only if g is bipartite okay, so that says something like if g is bicolorable then definitely it is a bipartite graph okay so before proving uh, this statement let's look at an example Okay, and that example it will also give an idea how to prove uh, this statement. Okay, so let's look at this example. Okay, consider this graph G. Okay, very easily we can see that this graph is a two chromatic graph. Okay, we can very easily see that u of G is equal to two. And again, uh, okay, you we could assign the colors in such a way okay, in this way, uh, and that says that the graph is two chromatic. So here. The vertices A, B, C uh, are colored one, and D, E, and F they are colored two. Okay, so we can okay, we can see that this graph is a two chromatic graph. So that statement says if the graph is bicolorable, so it is two chromatic, then the graph is bipartite. Okay, so we need to show that this graph is bipartite. Okay, so in this case we can uh, very easily partition the vertex set into two disjoint. Uh, vertex set V1 and V2. Okay, set that. So the V1 it contains uh, all the vertices that that are colored one. So V1 contains these three uh, vertices A, B, and C. Okay, and V2 contains the other other vertices. Okay, the colored uh, two. Okay, D. E and F. Okay, so here we can see that we could redraw uh, this graph in such a way that okay, it is a bipartite kind of thing. Okay, so if you redraw in this way, we, it is very easy to see that the graph is bipartite. Okay, so from this uh, seeing that is not so easy. Okay, so let's consider this drawing. Okay, A, B, C. And by the way, we can very easily see that since V1 and V2 are independent sets, there won't be an edge between uh, these two. If there is an edge, then it will uh, violate the coloring property, right? Okay, so this vertex set contains the other three, D, E, F. So we can very easily see that there won't be any edge between uh, these vertices. Okay, edge between vertices belong to V1 or uh, edge between vertices that belong to V2. Okay, so let's redraw uh, this graph. So we can see that if we consider A, there is an edge between okay, D, E, and F, right? Okay, so and if you consider B, again we can see that there will be an edge between this one, okay, the other three, right? So from B, we will have an edge from here to here. And if you consider C, okay, there will be an edge only between this E and F. Okay, so E and F. Okay, so here we can very easily see that okay, this is a bipartite graph, and that says okay, this graph G is a bipartite graph. Okay, so at least for this example, we can see that uh, this statement holds. Okay, so it is general. This statement do hold for every two chromatic graph. So if you look at any two chromatic graph, then that graph is a bipartite one. Okay, so let's go and prove this statement. Okay, here again we can see that the statement is in if and only if form. So we need to prove both direction. So first direction is uh, if G is a non-empty graph that is bicolorable then G is bipartite and the other direction is if G is bipartite then G is bicolorable or two colorable okay so let's go and uh, prove so let's prove this direction so if G is a non empty bicolorable graph then G is bipartite okay so let G be a bicolorable or two chromatic graph. So 
So we need to show that this graph is biparted. So we need to exhibit a uh, bipartition of the vertices. Okay, said so that you, uh, if you take the union, you get the entire vertex set, and there won't be an edge between uh, vertices belong to uh, those parts. Okay, we need to show uh, the bipartition. That's enough to show that the graph is biparted. Okay. So since G is bicolorable, okay, G has a two coloring. Okay, again the proof is going to proceed in the same way. So here we can see that this graph is bicolorable and the uh, coloring, two coloring is shown in this figure. Okay, next what we are going to do is we are going to define uh, these two vertices V1 and V2. Okay, and V1 contain all the vertices that are colored 1 and V2 contains all the vertices that are colored 2. Okay, and V1 and V2 uh, they are independent set. Okay, there won't be an edge between vertices belong to either V1 or V2. Okay, and uh, this V1 and V2 it form a bipartition for our biparted graph. Okay, so G has a two coloring, and using this co two coloring, we are going to define the two sets V1 and V2. So define okay, V1 be the set of all the vertices. colored one and okay, V2 be the set of all the vertices of G colored 2 ok something similar to what we did here so we defined V1 to be the set of vertices colored 1 so it contains A, B and C and V2 colored to so it contains d e and f in this case okay so that's what we did here okay using this coloring we are going to define these two sets v1 and v2 v1 uh, be the set of all vertices colored 1 and v2 be the set of all vertices colored 2 okay and since we know that this v1 and v2 are independent no two vertices in v1 and v2 are adjacent okay so since V1 and V2 are independent. No two vertices in V1 are adjacent to Okay, no two vertices in V1 are adjacent and no two vertices in V2 are adjacent. Okay, so we can use this V1 and V2 to define a bipartition of that graph. Okay, thus, So, thus any edge in our graph G it goes only between this V1 and V2. Okay, thus any edge in G joins a vertex in V1 and V2 only. Okay. So, that says we are able to uh, partition the vertices of G in the two sets V1 and V2 in such a way that there won't be any edge between two vertices in V1 and also two vertices in V2 and only edges between vertices in V1 and V2. Okay, and that's what we saw in this example. Okay, there won't be an edge between vertices belong to V1 or V2, only edges between uh, vertices belong to V1 and V2. Okay, something like this. Okay, and that says G is a bipartite graph. So hence G is biparted and the partition is given by these two vertex set V1 and V2. Okay, hence G is biparted with bipartition V1 
v1 and v2 ok ok so we proved uh, this direction okay, if g is a non empty bicolorable graph then g is bipartite ok so let's go and prove the other direction so other direction is going to be very easy since the graph is bipartite ok uh, we have this bipartite v1 and v2 so we color all the vertices in v1 with a color and v2 with the other color and that will give a two coloring uh, uh, for this bipartite graph and that says okay this bipartite graph is bicolorable okay so let's go and prove uh, this direction okay let g be a bipartite graph Okay, so, so since it is bipartite, uh, uh, we can partition the vertex set into two disjoint uh, partitions V1 and V2. Okay, so since D is bipartite, okay, its vertex set okay, V can be partitioned. into two non empty disjoint sets v1 and v2 such that then the vertex set is v1 union v2 so next what we are going to do is we are going to take this v1 and assign color 1 to all the vertices in v1 and assign color 2 to all the vertices in v2 and that will give a two color for this graph g ok so assign color 1 to all the vertices in v1 and color 2 to all the vertices in V2 ok so this gives a two coloring ok so this uh, gives a two coloring of G ok and since G is non empty okay, that says the uh, chromatic number of G is 2 ok and that says G is a 2 colorable ok so since G is non empty ok the chi of G is 2 hence the G is bicolorable Okay, so we are done with the proof. So we are able to prove both direction. So if you have a graph G that is bicolorable, then G is bipartite, and the other way, if G is bipartite, then okay, G is bicolorable.